What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Corsair IQ LC100 lighting panels. Now the installation of the actual panels themselves is pretty simple. They are magnetic to an extent. I don't know why they don't really stick to my case. So I'm also going to use this Gorilla double-sided mounting tape. Got some scissors to cut that. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and get started. Probably the most simple part of this process is going to be actually putting these in your case. So find a spot for them. Uh, the good part is you can make them twist and curve around corners and stuff. So let's say you wanted them right here, which I don't know why you would, but keep in mind when you have a corner, you're gonna wanna use this thicker one versus the thinner one because it allows more of a bend. So you would put that and then you would put your other panel up against that and then you can make a corner either inside outside whatever it is so if you wanted to put them there for some reason you could do that now you want to make sure you're not connecting this side that has the pins to this side with no pins because there won't be a connection the only time you do that is when you're going in a complete circle what you would do then is uh, still put one of these there just for equal spacing and then you would put one in here but keep in mind, you're gonna need some space for the actual panel with the cables so you can connect it and actually control it. Anyways, that's a quick crash course. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna stick them on with this double-sided mounting tape. So let's get started. If you're gonna go with the mounting tape, try to do a test fit with just one of them mounted with mounting tape and then sort of just hold them in the case before you permanently put them in there because it's gonna be a bit harder to move them once you stick them on. You might have some trial and error. To be honest, I spent about an hour just trying to figure out where these will fit perfectly and in a design that I enjoyed. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one with the wires facing up and connected to this side. So that way I can hide the wires and send them back there. All right, the next step is to send your cables to the back. Just make sure you got your back cover off so you can pull them through. All right, the next step is we're gonna have to connect everything to our motherboard and our power supply. So this USB cable, we're gonna need to push through from here to the front of the case and we're gonna need to find a USB port on our motherboard. One of the pins is missing and you can't really misalign it, it won't really let you. So just plug it in the way that it's supposed to be plugged in and you're good to go. Now on my PC specifically, I have a USB hub right here from NZXT. What this does is obviously I have a lot of devices in here that need USB uh, plugins. I'm gonna plug mine into this. So like I said, the other side is a, uh, I forget what kind of USB this is. And that just plugs into the hub right here. So very simple, very easy. Now let's go ahead and look for a spot to plug my SATA cables into. Here's what the SATA cables look like. And then you would just take the one from the hub and line it up. You can't plug these in wrong because again, they have that little L and just plug them in, you're good to go. And then same thing with the one that came from the panels themselves. So again, you just line them up and you're done. Now, all that's left to do is that final cable from the panels, which is that three pin. Now that one is also very easy. So I'll just plug it into number one. And just so you know, they do include a extension cable for this cable here. So if you need it to be longer, let's say you have a really big case or whatever, you'd be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and cable manage everything. Then we're gonna go ahead and install the software. But the hardware install 
is pretty much done so you're good to go now one thing i didn't mention is they do have these little stickers that uh you can put on the back of these on this hub and then stick it somewhere which i think i'm gonna stick it like back here somewhere under the power supply maybe if you already have Corsair IQ for your other products, this should automatically be detected and they should light up right away. So to install IQ, you just gotta go to their official website, click download IQ, find the one that you need. I need the Windows one. You can skip this step, open the file and select your language and click next. Obviously I already have IQ installed, so I'm just gonna close this out. All you gotta do is click through the prompts, agree to their terms and install. Once it's downloaded, open it up and it should detect your device. You can click install. Then you're gonna hit restart now, and then it'll open IQ back up. Once IQ opens back up, you'll see the lighting node pro right there. Click on it, and then you'll have to do the setup. You're just gonna choose whatever device you have connected to that specific port. Once you do that, you have to set up the orientation of your triangles. I went through this process a few times just because I couldn't get it right, and it was because I put triangles on both sides of the main triangle triangle with the wires and apparently IQ doesn't really register that. So I finally ended up with what you see here on screen and it worked perfectly. So their software has a ton of different customization. You can even adjust each individual LED, those little dots that are on the triangles. You can click on those and that'll select it and then you can add a different lighting effect to each one. I do have a more thorough IQ tutorial, not specifically for these triangles, but it's for a keyboard with a lot of LEDs and a lot of keys. And I show in depth how to control certain things and how to do things. I'll that video somewhere in the description or on top of this video of course you can go in here check the updates for the firmware adjust the brightness and all that kind of stuff now with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace